in factorial has 13 zeros. What are the highest and least values of n? Now I know that the number of zeros, number of zeros at the end of any factorial actually depend on depends on how many pairs of 2 and 5 do we have and since number of 5s are always lesser than number of 2s so we can you know uh, summarize this as number of zeros will be equal to total number of total number of 5s available available in that factorial now it has already been given here that we have 13 zeros in this n factorial now we are asked to find what can be the minimum possible value of n and the maximum possible value of n. So let's do one thing. Let us start with the multiples of 5 because if I'll say, if let's say I have a number such as 5 factorial or, or let's say let's if I start with 1, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So this is actually the value of 5 factorial and I know that since this value contains just one 5, and 2 obviously so this will have 1 0 at the end of it similarly if i'll continue further if i'll continue further to 6 7 8 9 10 next multiple of 5 so now i know that i'll get one 5 from here another 5 from here so basically two 5s so this value will uh, this value will contain two zeros two zeros at the end of it so similarly we can think of the multiple of fives till we get 13 zeros 13 multiples of five basically so we'll start with five we reached five factorial then we'll move on to 10 we reached 10 factorial then we'll move on to 15 we reached 15 factorial then uh, till here i'll get three zeros because i'm in third multiple of five so i am getting three fives here so i have three zeros actually we can write down here number of zeros as well so here i have one zeros here i have two zeros here i have three zeros from this again i'll move the next multiple of five that is 20 so i'll have four zeros here then i'll move on to 25 25 but interestingly i won't just get a single five from here i'll get two fives from here because 25 is what five times five so this five we can include as a multiple of five but we got an extra five which is actually a multiple of 25 so here we'll have two more zeros so six plus four plus two we'll get total six zeros still here then i'll again move if i'll again move to next multiple 30 i'll get one more zero so i'll have total seven zeros 35 so i'll have total eight zeros and it will go on and we need to move till we get 13 zero so actually let us check it then we'll see what else can we do so we reach till 35 then again will be 40 45 50 until 50 will have 8 9 10 11 zeros till 50 factorial will reach up to 11 zeros then we have here 55 next multiple of 5 and then 60 and then let's say 65 here so till here i'll have but wait <laughs> we did a mistake because 50 is also a multiple of 25 because what is 50 25 times two so we won't just have one five from here we'll get actually again two fives from here this one five we can include in the multiple of five and this second five we can include as a multiple of 25 so we'll actually not just have a single five but we'll have 10 plus 2 that is 12 fives uh, sorry 12 zeros we'll obtain till 50 factorial then if we we'll move to the next multiple of 5 55 so this will add just one more five so i'll have total 13 zeros i'll have 13 zeros up to 55 factorial so i need to be at least at 55 factorial in order to get 13 zeros so i can say that the minimum value the minimum possible value of n factorial n factorial minimum should be 55 factorial because this factorial will give me total 13 zeros but next question says that what is the highest possible value that is n factorial maximum what is the maximum possible value of this thing so that i can still have 13 zeros but i need to find the maximum value of it 
I know that if I'll reach 60, I'll add one more zero to it because I'll get one more five. So I'll end up getting here 14 zeros, but we just want 13 zeros. But if we'll just check a number before 60, that is 59, up to 59, like numbers after 55, that is 56, 57, 58 and 59. These four numbers will, will contribute not at all in the formation of 5. They will not at all contribute in the formation of any 0 because they are not the multiples of 5. The next contributor will be 60 which will actually give me 14 zeros. So I can say that if I'll reach up to 59, still I'll have same number of zeros at the end of 59 factorial because these numbers are not at all responsible for any 5. Hence they will no, not give me any 0 at all. So I can say that the maximum possible value of n factorial can be 59 factorial because till here, I, uh, till here the number of zeros are still 13 itself.